Great pleased to have with us on the program right now from the uh, Wyoming Women's Antelope Hunt. Uh, Donna Witchers and Shelly Simonton are both with us. Ladies, thank you for your time. Thanks for having us. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I'm glad to have you with us. Uh, so, uh, tell me about this. The first annual Wa Wyoming Women's Antelope Hunt took place uh, earlier this month, right? It did. All right. And what was the idea behind this? Well, Donna probably, this is Shelly. Donna probably knows the history of that. Maybe, Donna, you want to start? Sure. Let, let me give a little introduction here. The the original idea for an all-woman hunt uh, originally came from uh, the Chief Justice of our Wyoming Supreme Court, Marilyn Kite, and her sister-in-law, Carrie Stebner. They were actually hunting antelope in the Red Desert of Wyoming when this idea was born. And last year, Justice Kite then had dinner with her close friend, Lynn Boomgarden, who is an attorney from Cheyenne and also a hunter. And then Lynn contacted me, and then we all discussed what a fantastic event a women's hunt would be. And Lynn contacted the Wyoming Community Foundation, who then contacted the Wyoming Women's Foundation. And it's all history after that. <laughs> <laughs> that is, that's awesome. So this actually was, was sort of was uh, came about because of the Chief Justice of the Wyoming Supreme Court? Yes, uh, Marilyn Kite and her sister-in-law, Carrie Stemner, are avid antelope hunters, and uh, they were probably camped out in the Red Desert looking at the stars talking about this one night, and thought, what a great idea this would be. Oh, that is awesome. Um, all right, so so uh, how many women did you have take part in this event? Shelly? Well, we had um, 36 hunters. 34 actually were successful, and the vast majority of those were successful in one shot. So we look at that as an enormous success in terms of game um, actually bagged and harvested. Absolutely. Uh, I understand you all had to deal with some weather as well. <laughs> it was a unique first year, wasn't it, Donna? Oh, it, it truly was. But, you know, I think that helped uh, just make it even more exciting and, and brought people together for a great event. Absolutely. Uh, we, we certainly couldn't go anywhere else. <laughs> well, yeah, blizzard, blizzard conditions uh, in, in Wyoming. Yeah, all the roads were closed. Most antelope hunting um, usually takes place, as you know, in the fall when it's warm, mostly down in the desert regions um, of Wyoming. So this was um, more like elk hunting, but it was, it was a good time. That is very, that is, that is just awesome to hear. Um, I'm guessing then that uh, uh, you all are going to be doing this next year? Absolutely, yes. Um, I represent, I'm on the board of the Wyoming Women's Foundation and was also, along with Donna, um, one of the members of the committee that put the hunt on. And we absolutely are going to do it again. It was a resounding success, and um, now we just have something to build on. Our ultimate goal is to have 50 female hunters with guides, so we have a little bit of room to grow. And I know that uh, the Wyoming Women's Foundation um, says part of its mission is to help women and girls attain economic self-sufficiency. Uh, and, and it seems to me, uh, Donna and Shelley, that uh, one of the things that, 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 that helps people achieve that economic self-sufficiency is knowing how to be self-sufficient and, and, and competent, uh, having that, that belief in yourself that I can get through stuff, uh, and, 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 and knowing that that comes from real experience, not just... I hope I can get through this. It seems like uh, uh, events like this antelope hunt actually do a lot to uh, to, to help sustain and create uh, that self sufficiency. Ab absolutely, and uh, one one thing that I noticed is that well, we had both experienced hunters, we had uh, first time hunters that had never even uh, shot a firearm. And uh, there was training on firearms, on how to shoot a rifle. We sighted in the rifles. The, the Wyoming Game and Fish Department was there to, to help with this. And they also had a sporting clays range set up so that women could try out shotguns and they learned how to shoot and, and bust clays. And people were excited. But this, this helped to instill confidence in women, which is a big part of helping them gain self-sufficiency in their lives. Absolutely. Well, listen, I, I appreciate uh, both of you coming on the program, and thank you for what you're doing. If you see a very, uh, uh, let's just say, kind of ugly woman with a goatee uh, next year show up, <laughs> uh, 
it just sounds like so much fun. Uh, that's all I'm saying. Okay, just just don't 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 give that individual too hard a time. What's that? I said that is funny. <laughs> all right. Well, listen, Donna Shelley. Thank you again. Uh, if folks want more information, WyomingWomen'sAntelopeHunt.org is the website. And again, uh, uh, plans are already underway for next year. You can also find them on Facebook at uh, facebook.com slash Wyoming Women's Antelope Hunt.